Okay, let's do some uh, practicing angles again. But now, instead of just one angle, we've got a whole um, bunch of rays coming out. In fact, we're calling this multiple rays. And we need to use the letters to figure out which one is which. So first, we're going to do uh, measure angle POQ. And POQ would be PO, there's Q. That's POQ right there. And do an estimate first. That to me looks a little bit less than 45 degrees. Maybe I'm, I'll say, uh, maybe around 35 degrees. I don't know, we'll see how close I am. But then to measure it, use your protractor, right? So it was this one here. So it looks like it's about 30 or 31 degrees. So then, um, you can write the real answer here. And then next, uh, it's asking you to do QOR. And QOR would be this one here. So you will need uh, to turn your protractor, like I've done here. Um, actually, first I forgot to do an estimate. And if you look at this one here, you'll see it's bigger than this one. This one's 30, right? So this one's a little bit bigger. So maybe I'll say that that one's about 40 degrees. And now let me me go to the measuring part. And if you look here, QOR is here. And it looks like it's about 45 degrees. So the other ones you can do yourself, just make sure you pay attention to the um, letters and make sure you have the correct angle to measure. And then we're just going to wrap it up with some division. And you can use whatever method you like here. But we've been doing in class the big seven or partial quotients method. So let's see, if I went just seven times 10, it's gonna be only 70, it's not gonna get me up to close to that. So why don't I go double that? Seven times 20 will give me 140. And then I'll subtract. And I have 172, so why don't I do another 20, which will give me the same thing. And now I have 32 left, so why don't I go um, just to 4, and that's going to be my remainder. So if I have 20 plus 20 plus 4, the answer will be 44, and my remainder is 4. And I've written these in different ways, so just so you know, this one here is 1,242 divided by 20. That's a divided by symbol, not a 1. And what would you do here? I'm going to go try to go straight to 1,000. So do you know 20 times what equals 1,000? It helps if you know 2 times what equals 10. And that would be 2 times 5 equals 10. So it's going to be 20 times 50 equals 1,000. So if I go 50 here, then I'm getting... Uh, pretty close. I have 242 left, so I might go by 10, which is going to give me 200 there. And then the rest of the way, you can do it on your own. Uh, but that is the homework for this evening. And you're using your protractor to measure angles and some review some division. So thank you and goodbye.